Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number three. And in this tutorial we are going to start taking a look at certain things that we can put in the body of our web page. Okay, so the first few things that we're going to talk about in this tutorial are the line breaks, paragraphs and headers. Okay, so if you guys watched the last tutorial, you probably uh, saw this and you thought, okay, well, we can just go ahead and put any text in the body. Like, uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll write some paragraphs out here. So uh, this could be paragraph one, this paragraph one, and you think, okay, well, I can break down two lines and uh, this could be paragraph two. And uh, then we'll write another story over here or whatever. And then you think, okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I should get three nice paragraphs printed out in the browser. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, so if I go ahead and I uh, launch this in Firefox, you can see that I've got all three things printed out on the screen. But they all appeared in one line. What the heck is going on here? Well, let me explain it to you this way. Uh, HTML is actually white space insensitive, so it doesn't really matter how much space we leave in between here. I mean, I could put in a whole, what is that, like probably 20 enters or something. And when I go back and I click refresh, nothing's changed, okay? So, that's why we use these things called tags, okay? They basically uh, tell HTML how to mark up the text inside of them, okay? So to break down one line, what we do is we use this break tag. So that is BR with a forward slash, just like that. And if I want to break down another line, then I go ahead and I put one there as well. Okay, so now when I save this and I go back to Firefox and click refresh, you can see we've got this on line one, this on line two, and line three. Okay, so they're all on their own separate lines. But that's actually just how to break down a line. So this is the equivalent of um, hitting enter on your keyboard. But if you guys actually want to have paragraphs, uh, and paragraphs have spaces in between these two lines, then we have to go ahead and we use a different tag called the paragraph tag. So to do that, you're just going to go ahead and put in the smaller than and greater than sign with a P and uh, same thing on this side as well. Okay, so that is the start of one of our paragraphs and then this is the end of that paragraph, okay? So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, do that a couple times. Ending P and uh, we'll start this P over there and end my P over there. Haha, <laughs> that was sounded kind of wrong, but hey, uh, we'll go back and click refresh. And now, as you can see, we've got these three pretty cool paragraphs all print it out nicely on the screen with space in between them. Okay, so that's quite cool. Uh, we've covered how to actually break down one line and we've also covered how to make different paragraphs. So let's take a look at how to actually make headers on the web page. Okay, now we actually get six different kinds of headers by default. Okay, and they are actually named uh, H1, just like that, right down until H6. So we've got H1, H2, uh, H3, whoops, out of habit I put a closing tag, um, H4, H5, and uh, H6, not H56, just H6. Okay, and uh, obviously we have to go ahead and end these as well. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is just copy that. Uh, paste, 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 paste. Okay, so one, two, three, four.
four, five. Okay, and I'll, we can go ahead and just type some stupid stuff in here to see what all these headers come out looking like. So uh, this would be the biggest header. Uh, H1 is obviously the biggest, and then H6 is going to be the smallest. And uh, uh, somewhere around H3, that's almost the same size as like the default text, or it might be H4. Uh, so that would be like a medium header. As the text, well, test text, whatever. <laughs> we'll uh, have a few typos in here. Uh, H2 can just say uh, tomatoes because I have run out of things to type. And uh, H5 can be fizz is my favorite champion. Uh, 10 points for whoever guesses who Fizz is. Let's go ahead and save this. And uh, now when we go back to Firefox again and click refresh, you can see we've got all six headers printed out on our web page, starting from H1 being the biggest and H6 being really, really small that you can't even see it. Okay, so those are the different headers that we have available to us in HTML. But we can change these up a little bit, which uh, we will learn about later on in the series. But for now, uh, that's how to make a header in HTML. So thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.